great news, everyone. TF2 has been updated. Which is, uh, fantastic. Good job. Valve, you actually... So, there's still a lot of fixes they need to do, though. But they did update the game. They did, in fact, update it. So I'm, I'm proud of them. You. Uh, what is this? That's a, uh, prize pool. And there's the update. They fixed a bunch of exploits and some issues. They have a lot of work to still do, though. Before they even fix, like... Yeah, they, they still have a lot to fix, though. But... Maybe one day they'll actually do a whole, whatever you call it, um, they'll do like a whole thing where, um, like an actual major update to the game, not only patch notes. But again, it's not like they haven't been doing patches for a while. Like they've been doing patches, it's just that. So this isn't everything. There was a patch here in March. Uh, security and stability improvements. Fixed client crash related to previewing, uh, previewing market stuff. Strange cosmetic items. Looping particle effects. Fixed taunts. Updated, updated sparkling effects. Updated unusual effects. So they've done updates. Fixed disguise slash cloak spies from uh, being able to block player destruction captures. Uh, and then they updated some of the models. So they've done this stuff for a good couple months or so. Early this year and just stuff in general. They'll just kind of fix some extra things. But it looks like this update is actually acknowledging certain exploits that were being done to the game so anyways that's good that's good to hear <sighs> did i get any messages on discord before i move on nope okay cool all right so today we're gonna be Ugh. Huh? I've been uploading videos. Well, kind of, but... I just uploaded the... Uh, an edited down video of the last stream we did on Sunday, which was this game. Um, game Dev Tycoon. And I guess, uh... Yeah, and I also did another one for, um... I did another one for coin game. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I've been kind of like uh, doing these weird edits to like the thumbnails that I like. I think they look pretty uh, cool. Kind of gives it like a weird look. The thumbnail. Let me see. Yeah. I think that's a cool thumbnail. Catches the eyes. It has like an Ikea color scheme for the text. Uh, hopefully that video is interesting. I, I don't even think- I don't even know if people are actually watching. Uh, I don't even know if people are actually watching these. Let me actually check the statistics here. The analytics. Get any. Uh, watch time. Uh, engagement. Uh, that doesn't help me. 
watch time. Where's the, like, how many people are actually watching the video, though? I guess uh, that doesn't appear here. Okay. Maybe I just don't have enough uh, data yet. Which makes sense. Uh. Okay. Ugh. So, uh... I think we should continue. It takes me a minute to wake up, so... Here we go. Here we... Frickin' go. Shut up. Game Dev Tycoon. Switch to that. I'm gonna have to do that. Launch. Hey! Clown Makeup Media. Cool. We're here. I'm gonna send everybody on vacation. So we have two million dollars. I think I have to pump at least that much in order for them to start working. News no longer supported. One game on the platform earned a total of 10 million. Nice. So what do we have to research? Uh, research. Simple body language, voiceover. We didn't even have these out yet. Simple body language. I don't even know what that means. What are they implying? I guess we'll do voiceover. Uh, and then they can do a new topic. Fashion? Eh. Oh yeah, I think we were planning on making like a Call of Duty game, unless we already did that in the game history. We did Tax Tycoon 3. When I was editing the video for the last time we played this, I didn't realize that whenever I made, um... <laughs> Let's find it here. Uh, whenever I made... Uh, was it Devil's Rejects? No, uh, it was... Um... I think, yeah, it was Gumby's... No, no, Star Cadet Command. This game, I thought it was a space game, but I changed it to a dungeon RPG. <laughs> so I fucked up that. Uh, we're gonna do a large game. We're gonna do a large space game, maybe. Apparently we need... How many people... I don't even remember what they said that we needed. Monthly cost. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Okay, quickly, quickly learn that real quick. Actually, while, while we're doing that, everybody else do contract work. Uh, this one. Wait, that, that would take... We don't have enough people to do that. There's no way we'd be able to do that. Contract work. I don't think we'd be able to do cutscenes. I think we'll be able to do this, but... Cool. Alright, go. Come on. Yes! Cool. Okay. Let's develop a game. I think we can do a large game. We're gonna do a game for everyone. It's gonna be a space, um, RPG strategy game. For the PC. Looks like we don't even really have another option. So. I mean we could do a game for that. But I think this is going to be exclusively a PC game. Because it's a. Uh, fuck it. 
we can we can make it for these anyways so we might as well pick the game engine the taxed engine which i actually uh i guess that's what we need to do right the tax engine Let's see here. So we're going to do 3D graphics version 4. I just actually named it Game 28. <laughs> God damn it. There's no way for me to pitch this. <laughs> Shoot. Um, well then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay okay whatever we're just gonna do simple cutscenes i ugh. game number 28 i guess it's not exactly what i wanted to name it i'm gonna be honest Really didn't want to name it Game 28. I think I can change it at the end. I think I can change the name at the end of the development. So, we'll be fine. AI Companions. Better AI mini games. No mini games. Easter eggs. Uh... Level editor, we don't need a level editor. Dialogue tree and better dialogues. Arthur B, you don't need to be working on anything right now. Uh, here. There we go. And R Roberta. Let's just have... We really need to upgrade Juanita. I feel like we need to upgrade Juanita. Level design. I think uh, artificial intelligence is going to take a higher role here. I think that's how we're gonna do it. Uh, small booth. an open world a virtual economy with a rich backstory soundtrack uh we're gonna do stereo sounds like that graphics uh Juanita can do sounds and Fido doesn't have to do that let's have that and then there we go Actually, let's do this. I feel like graphics are going to be important. Apparently, so is world design. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I think this will do. There's hype. Let's, uh... Let's mark it. Do a two million dollar market. Game twenty eight. It's gonna be like a secret code name for the for the space game that we're making. It's 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 code name. You know how like there's a lot of games out there that'll do that kind of stuff, right? Didn't make the top 100, of course. Alright, time to iron out the bugs. 314 hype.
Let's rename it. We're gonna name it, um... Space Age... Ele Legends... Wait, we'll just name it Final Frontiers. Perfect, Final Frontiers. That's a perfect name. Due to increase experience. Cool. So training for Roberta Soto. Basic physics, save to cloud, mod support, and 3D graphics version 5 and surround sound. Let's go. Let's fucking go. That console sucks. Dubs the... Oh yeah. Uses similar technology as the modern phones and tablets and delivers games exclusively to it. Offer a free demo. Uh, send on vacation. First reviews. Here we go for Final Frontiers. Oh no. What at stages? I like it. Shows potential. Ah, okay, whatever. It's just to put money on the table. Oh yeah. All right, staff, get to working. We need to. We need to do a lot of stuff here. Save the cloud. I think the most important one will definitely be um, 3D graphics version uh, version 5. I think that's going to be very important to work on. And the rest of you hooligans... Uh, Act up 500Ks. Nice. Um, I need to find contract work. Uh, yeah, find contract work. Develop. Get to work, boys. Uh, find contract work. That's a lot. This one should do. Um... What else can we research? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, do a game report. This is the only one. Okay. Do a report on that. Uh, and while you do that, see, racked up 1 million. We literally sell 1 million units like it's uh, nothing. So it's like basically means nothing to us. We'll, we'll get graphics v2, uh, v4 after we sell our next game. Um, mod support. Surround sound would be nice, but I think we're gonna have to do mod support or something. Uh, oh yeah, while we're here, go ahead and create more contract work. Uh, three weeks, we can't do that. Five weeks, we can't do that. In nine weeks, we can definitely do that. You. Cool. Uh, so what do you, uh, space RPG strategy is a bad combination? Really? I, I, I didn't know that. Apparently it's a bad combination. I didn't think so. Create a custom engine. What can we do for our... Uh, custom engine. We can definitely do V5. We don't have to do V4 anymore. Uh, linear story. We don't really do linear story games. But I guess we'll keep it. Save the cloud. Voiceover. 
Uh, no mono sound. Who does mono sound? This would cost 3 million just to do. And we only added like a couple new things. We should wait. Um... You know what we should do is um we need to we need to upgrade Juanita. Nice. Um find cro contract work. I think we can do that. Alright, we need to train. We need to up your design by a huge amount. Game design. Yeah, up that. Get to work. Train. Uh, yeah, do that. Uh, do- what can we do for research? Mod support? Sure. Okay. on MMOs. Cool. Okay. Should we develop a sequel? Battle Duty Call to Arms. Sequel Fantasy 5. Let's do Battle Duty Call to Arms. We're gonna do, uh... Medium Size Game. Actually, wait. Even better. Let's just do, um... Let's just do a publishing deal. Martial Arts Adventure Game. An Evolution RPG. The computer and it has to be a large game okay um age of time age of time perfect Three D graphics version four. Work on it, boys. Advanced cutscenes. Uh, character progression achievements. The usual. Uh, gameplay definitely up. Engine doesn't need to be so high. So it's gonna be. Focus on gameplay. Pure gameplay. Seems that the market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Evolution. Easy. This is- Hi, this is Gary White from Gamers. I got, uh, word that CMM is working on a new game. Um... 
Many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making games about and how companies prioritize. Uh, we're all about the gameplay. We're heavily focused on gameplay. Recent news asked uh, how different developments prioritize. You said gameplay. Every game development industry, okay. Just as the industry seems to have silently accepted the slow demise of PC gaming as more and more games are primarily developed for consoles, there seems to be a resurgence in the PC market. New powerful affordable hardware is growing indie developer scene, and uh, the rise of crowdfunded financing has meant a slew of new exciting proje uh, projects hitting the PC. It seems that the PC market is, it will only grow stronger in the coming years. For console lovers, this isn't bad news either. Many PC games are also ported to most successful consoles. Except for this game. No Easter eggs. AI Companions? Sure. It's an RPG game. Uh, artificial intelligence can go down a little bit. Dialogues are important, apparently. As well as level design. Level design is always at the forefront. Like this. We're gonna do this. Andrew, Darlene. Let's have um, Rose work on something. There we go. Money making. Yes, yes indeed. Age of Time. Well, that's the first time. 600,000. The hype is building. Uh, yeah, it's an open world evolution RPG. Graphics are always important. Why do they always do this? There. Six hundred and ninety K. We're about to hit two hundred hype. We just hit two hundred hype. And now we have to iron out all the bugs. Yay. Yay. Yippee. Age of time. Skill trees. Oh my god, a fucking skill tree. We don't have skill trees. That's 80 points for skill trees. Uh, first reviews. Seven. Could have been better. I like it. Shows potential. We haven't been doing good in the games industry lately. Blue Bit Games, the game didn't doesn't live up to expectations as per contract. A penalty will be applied. You lost 1.3 million dollars. 
but the game is selling more than enough, so... Okay. I guess, uh, generate a report. And everybody else, uh, get contract work done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! We got what we wanted. <laughs> Seven weeks, we can do it. Uh, evolution and RPG is a terrible combination. Artificial intelligence seems to not be very important for this type of game. Okay, then. So, we were set up to fail by the people who wanted the game themselves. Three hundred K, cool. Um, research. Research into... Surround sound and research into basic physics. Perfect. It's time for the sequel. To what? I I don't think it is yet. Oh my gosh, the new Xbox and that shitty Connect sequel fantasy. Perhaps. I think we should make our own Skyrim game. Or something like that. And PlayStation is also releasing their PlayStation 4. Which has ended up having the better exclusives. Let's read the publishing deals before we even bother doing any of that crap. Time travel any genre, game size large. The minimum score can be four. Okay, we can do that. We can do this. It's a large time travel, uh, a time travel adventure game. This is gonna be the first time we ever do a linear campaign I guess adventure casual adventure an action adventure game for the PC and we're gonna make it uh, a, a game for everybody and we're gonna call it What time is it? What? What time is it? Huh? Actually, you know what? We need to develop a new engine. We need to develop a new engine. I think we should, I think it's time we, uh, we make final, uh, sequel fantasy, I mean, uh, six, sequel fantasy six. The sequel engine. time we made very little money off of it it's going to be a large game 
uh, their plans on the inbox will no longer require constant internet connection and will not place restrictions. Clearly different. Okay. Wait, boss, we would like to stage an internal coding contest. I think we should all learn a lot by doing this as an initiative prize winner. We agree to the charity. Should we do it? Yes. Great. We'll start right away. <laughs> right now. Juanita, she's still not even like a large booth now. You know what we will do is cut the budget for uh for the project right now. Oh my god. Yes, okay, that's good. Once they're done, I'm gonna send them on vacation. Roberta's the only person who isn't tired. Thanks for agreeing with the coding contest. It was a big success. Fido won the contest and is lucky to distribute the prize to charity. We've also learned a lot in the process. Cool. The sequel engine. Alright. It's time. To create our largest game yet. It's time to develop a sequel to sequel fantasy. Sequel fantasy six fantasy RPG game for the PC, the inbox. One and the PlayStation 4 on the sequel engine. This is our largest game yet with 3D graphics version 5. Advanced cutscenes. Basic physics, mod support, and save the cloud. Gameplay. <laughs> no engine. Okay, wait, hold on. So we actually need to get rid of some stuff here. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, multiplayer. That's not needed. Wait, hold on. I can lower multiplayer now. I can raise... Stories and quests. Basic physics. We don't need basic physics. Okay. Can I raise this even more? 
I don't think I need to. I think this is the best we can do. Okay. This is our big game. We're gonna need a, a big audience. We're gonna need voiceover. Dialogue trees aren't important. Better dialogue is good though. Better AI and AI companions. Uh, level design. Easter eggs. Mini games. And a level editor. Because why not? We need to compensate. Okay. Surround sound. Virtual economy? I, I, I guess. 3D graphics. What is Juanita doing? The sound? Juanita, you don't get to do anything. We're not getting that much hype, though. Nice. I'm upset. Or that CMO is working on a new game. Are you willing to share some information? Yes. Our readers are curious about decisions in the making the game. Um, it's more in graphics. Okay. This is a massive game. Except it didn't get that much hype though. Uh, and I really need it to be a success here. This needs to be a milestone. This needs to be a massive, massive, massive milestone. Uh, because if uh, we don't hurry up here, uh, we're fucked. Yes! We got new records, too. That's- that's perfect. Okay. Sequel Fantasy 6. No! Dynamic Environment and Advanced Stereoscopic 3D and, uh, AAA games. Cool. Go to vacation. Alright, come on. No! The first reviews come in. Please! Please be tens. Yes! We got a 10. That's a really good sign. Oh! <gasps> P 
please be a 10. Damn it! We almost got... We almost got a 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10. Oh, man. That's really good for us. We already sold a million sales in the first week. Clown uh, CMM has recently released a sequel to their game, Sequel Fantasy V. The newest game in the title uh, series titled Sequel Fantasy VI was met with an outstanding response as critic praised the game had uh, had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. <sighs> Almost. Word just got out. Has racked up five millions in sales. We did it. Um, generate a report for our 9.75 game. I'm proud of our team. Very proud. Dynamic environments. You need to go in the training. Learn design. Alright, here we go. We almost got a 10, uh, like a perfect game. Seven hundred and eighty thousand. We made it to the top ten, a hundred. Nice. Eighty-five. And well, we we have the, we're the number one ranked sold game right now. Number one sold game. All right, let's take a gander here. Very important for this game. Artificial intelligence is not that important. And platform genre match. Nice. All right. Um, advanced stereoscopic, stereoscopic, but yeah. Uh, I think we should do simple body language next if possible so get the contract work go get us some research points almost go on vacation go on vacation really go on vacation <sighs> old engine yeah give it away some on vacation. Okay. Um, contract work. These are pretty big. Just do this one. Boss. Okay. Alright. Uh, these guys have a higher budget now. System 3 is no longer supported. Nice. It's still ranked number 2 and most sold right now. Which is good. Alright. Uh, send on vacation. Uh, Alright. Uh, you. Research. Simple body language. Sequel Fantasy is off sale and it made over $129 million. Nice. Oh, the Nintendo Switch. Cool. This game's been updated. They've added the Switch to it. Nice. MMO is almost done. And we can finally release an MMO. Alright. I think we should... What happens if we created uh, a new one? All we'd get is simple body language and dynamic environment. 
Uh, let's do it. Simple body language. Let's just add those to it. Uh, and we're gonna name it, um... Genesis, uh, 21. Get to work. Apparently developing game engines adds research, too. So... can actually probably learn some new stuff too like new game genres we need more bangers like that uh, okay what can we research advanced st stereoscopic full motion video which one should we do? Full motion video for stories and quests? or gra Let's do advanced stereoscopic scopic 3D. And for this one, we'll just research... Uh, we'll just research a bunch of new um, genres that we're never going to use. So we can get the next stuff. Construction? That sounds like fun. next crime okay all right it's time <sighs> okay create a new game engine for the new stereoscopic 3d Advanced stairs, stop, gopic 3D. Actually, that doesn't even have that much going on. We'll save that for another time. Okay. Let's develop a sequel to Nuclear Winter 3. Nuclear Winter 4. The PC, the PlayStation 4, and the Xbox One on the Genesis 21 engine. This is our all, all, all other sequel game that also is really large and massive. Nice. Okay. Advanced cutscenes, we don't need it. Branching story, though, yes. Multiplayer. Basic physics. Mod support? Yeah, we'll do mod support. Save the cloud. Better user experience. Uh, achievements. Can we do it? Who knows? Let's see. Actually, yeah, save the cloud and... So engine needs to be go needs to go up okay we can't have this much we have to uh we have to cut back on some features nuclear winner will not have and i repeat nuclear winner will not have multiplayer that is that is our thing wait gameplay needs to be oh no better user experience <laughs> achievements how about that they don't need achievements How about advanced cutscenes, at least? Okay. <laughs> we have to- we have to make cutbacks, okay. Uh, let's do, uh... Let's do Andrew on... Stories and Quests. 
Actually, no, no, no. Let's have Fido do that. And then Andrew can work on the design of the... We'll just, we'll just keep him like that. Um, Rose is doing gameplay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yep. I think once we have more people, we'll be able to actually do all that stuff, but because we only have this many people, we probably won't be able to yet. Oh yeah, that whole bit where like people would lick um, Nintendo Switch cartridges, I forgot about that. A small booth. Simple body language. Wait, voiceover, better dialogues. Wait, hold on. Dynamic environment, we don't need these or that. Actually, level editor will be fine. Uh, better AI, AI companions. is. Let's do simple body language if possible. And that's in dialogues. So level design could actually go down until it is not necessary anymore. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Dialogue is gonna have a lot of importance. Dialogue trees, though. Oh, boy. We don't have enough for dialogue trees, so we're actually gonna have to cut off... We're gonna have to cut off simple body language. So we can have dialogue trees. When are we suing Nintendo for what? So we could actually up the level design. Let's have level, uh, that all the way up. There we go. Um, for level design... We have Rosa working on that. Let's have Roberta do that. And then Andrew's working on dialogues. And who's working? Arthur B is working on artificial intelligence. Let's have Darlene do that. There we go. We were able to add Easter eggs. Okay. Let's do a marketing. A large marketing campaign for Nuclear Winter 4. Almost, almost all eight. Seventy-four. Day and night is very important. Rich backstory. So world design is going to have to go up. Around sound.
So that has to stay up and sound. I guess there won't be a soundtrack. We'll have to budget cut that. No soundtrack. People are just going to have to extract the soundtrack themselves. Uh, world design can be developed. Andrew's doing that. Let's have uh, Rosa work on that. And then Darlene is working on sound. Fido do that. And... I think that should be fine. Okay. Adventure games. Oh, rip. We can almost make uh, an MMO. I'm excited. We're gonna make an MMO based off of specifically the uh, the successful series. The graphics is gonna have to suffer though. If we're making a large game, graphics is gonna suffer. Four hundred and thirty-nine hype. Nice. Come on, buff out the... Just buff it out, come on. We did it. Okay. No new innovations in design and technology, sadly. Alright, nuclear winner four. And we can re... Realistic weather. Ah, uh, that would have been perfect on Nuclear Winter. That'll have to be in the next game. All right, this is hopefully gonna be a perfect game. No. We're too. We, we made too much of an ambitious game. Oh. Generate a report for why our game was so average. Figure it out. Why is- why is sequel fantasy cursed to be, like, a perfect game all the time? We only sold 500,000 in sales. We didn't even sell 1 million in the first week. With moderate responses, critics praised Nuclear Winter 4 and had a newer game engine, really driving technical innovation. I guess that's cool. Realistic weather. Visorious support. Visorous support. Realistic weather. Go. Has boobed women in it? Huh. Yeah, I guess I guess uh, Nuclear Winter has its fans. NW4. I think it's time we developed. Uh. Wait, hold on. Let me research again. We have 2D graphics, various support. Okay. It's time to, uh, it's time to develop a new engine. Advanced stereoscopic 3D. We're gonna do version, uh, f we're gonna do version 3 graphics, because I think version 3 graphics will help. Um, you know what, just have everything on here. Just have every, everything on this engine, just everything. Fuck it. 
everything is is on this engine we're gonna call it the everlasting engine the everlasting there you go that'll generate a lot of research points too so we can then research a new thing and then fuck fucking replace this engine is sadly outdated we don't use the sus engine We almost have 41k fans. Oh, well. It sold a lot, but it didn't sell nearly as much as uh, Sequel Fantasy 6 did. Once Sequel Fantasy 7 comes out, it's pretty much going to be over. The engine has been completed. Uh, research, um... Full motion video. Various support. I guess 2D graphics version 4. And you need the train. She's getting up there. Do this. And you need the fucking train too. Actually, I can't. I can't train you. MMO support, there it is. Wow, what a waste of... Boss. Our research uh, into massive, massively multiplayer online games is complete. The possibilities of MMOs are big, but they are also risky. In our research, we realize that uh, before we can begin to develop an MMO, we need to create a special game engine for it. You'll need to complete a research for the MMO support feature with one of your staff. Uh, once it is integrated into the game engine, you can start building an MMO, but be careful. It seems that MMOs only work with the best themes slash genre combinations. And we'll also need to have specialists on your team to make an MMO successful. Okay. Um. Jesus. What kind of specialist? And how much is it going to cost to research MMO support? 150? Oh, man. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, what about this project? Let's see. Unconvention, codename Grid. Licensed game engines and hardware and AAA games. Such a high quality, they can create an entire new label. Uh, sure. Start working on that. Cool. Woo is, is gonna be taken off the market. Wow. Okay. Um, so we need to develop a new game. A new game. No sequel. It's gonna be a, a new game. Zombies. Pirate. It's going to be a pirate game. Okay, we're going to make a zombie game. It's going to be a large, uh, a large in scale, much mature zombie game. It's going to be called uh, Dead to Rights MMO. We can't do MMO. We need to. Uh, we need to learn MMO specialists before we do MMO. Um, it's a zombie RPG simulation for the PC. We'll make one on the PlayStation. And the Xbox. Okay. 
Dead to Right Zombie RPG Sim. PlayStation, PlayStation 4. So, yeah. Alright, Dead to Rights with 3D graphics version 5. No stereoscopic up epic 3D. I guess we'll do 3D graphics version 5. Let's take everything off real quick. So. Let's think about this. So we, we want to have multiplayer. We want to have save games. We want to have multiplayer. We also want basic physics. We want people to save the cloud and we want mod support. We also want skill trees and character progression in a game tutorial with a better user experience so we need to end out for uh stories we don't need to do any of that the engine can go up gameplay can go up Like that. And the stories and quests can go up. You know what? Let's fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't have faith in this game. Got word that we're working on a new game. Hype it. Hype it. We're gonna market it. It's going to be a really obnoxious, uh, non-skippable ad, um, on YouTube. There's nothing in here. Alright, remove everything. Okay. We're going to have better AI. No AI companions. A dynamic environment. With Easter eggs. We want dialogue tree and better dialogue. We also want simple body language. Wait, no simple body language. We'll do voiceovers. Uh, dialogues need to go up. Oh, the sign needs to go up too. Wait, no, no, no. Level design. AI are a bunch of stupid idiots. Bring that up. I want to bring up uh, AI. There we go. Fine, we'll have AI companions. That'll do. I need to grab a drink. By the way, this game does not have any hype because it's a new IP. Turn everything off. Oh wait, I have to have that on. Um, turn everything off. Okay. So we definitely want an open world game. Day-night cycle, that's very important. Realistic weather. Rich backstory. No rich backstory. 
We want surround sound because that's important. Stereoscopic 3D. So graphics needs to go up. Okay. World design, I don't think we'll be able to go up that much. So... Why is that making it go... Oh, it does. Okay. That's as high as we can go. You know what? We don't need that. There we go. We don't need advanced stereoscopic 3D. Who, who wants that in a game? Uh, Arthur B can work on sound. Uh, Rosa needs to not work on something, so we'll have uh, Juanita do something. There you go. Darlene cannot... I, Darlene isn't even working on anything. Okay. I thought there was another office in this game, but I guess not. Cool. I'm ready for this game to explode. People are gonna be like, this, this is like the best game ever made. Nothing. Oh. Send everybody on vacation. I've seen better. No. The game isn't worth it. No! The game was, was an, was, was mid. No one likes the new IP. It was a massive failure. Almost a commercial flop, even. We haven't even sold 500,000 units. As the games have gotten bigger, our team are just not... Are just not up to snuff. Uh, okay, well we need somebody to... Research uh, MMO support. <sighs> sure. What an utter flop. <laughs> now we, we've just now sold. Oh wow. Price has actually gone uh sales went up there when we reached the uh the thing. 
custom in engine. Uh, research. Full motion video. No. New topics. Cooking. Go at it. Um. We need to train our character. There you go. Get to work. Dead to rights. A commercial flop. An awful game. Still managed to get top 100. We're still selling units. <laughs> We're still selling. I don't know how, but we are. Okay. Um, I guess it's time to develop a sequel to Sequel Fantasy VI. It's going to be an MMO. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Do we have to make somebody a uh, an MMO specialist? MMO support? How do we do the MMO support shit? We just have it? Or, oh wait, it's probably in the engine, isn't it? MMO support, yeah. We have everything in here. Except version 4 gra uh, 2D graphics. Um... Whoa. No. No. Funny. Nice. Go. It's finally off sale. And we actually made a profit. A 1.6 million dollar profit. We should probably go all in on our flagship franchise though. Maybe. The funny engine. Full motion video. Stuff that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, it's time to develop a sequel to Sequel Fantasy. And it's gonna be everyone. It's gonna be an MMO game for the PC. It's gonna be sequel, sequel fantasy online with the funny engine. Seven point eight million for the PC, of course. Um, I mean, I guess technically we could release it for the PS4, but I don't think it will help. It's an MMO game. I feel like as an MMO, it would be just a PC only game. I think it'll be perfect. I think I think we're getting into it. At the right time. Uh, should we just stick with uh, the highest level graphics? Or should we actually go lower? I guess the graphics being high should be fine. 
let's let's lower the graphics down to like v3 or v4 i feel like if we had like high detail graphics i feel like it would actually we couldn't develop it even more or should we just actually go full in into the, like the graphics because if we focus too much on graphics then we're not going to be able to focus on gameplay so let's let's focus on giving them all right graphics i don't think we should give them like full-on graphics i what do you think this is very 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 important for me to make this decision now so either we lower the graphics or we keep it at version 5 graphics and then suffer because the game we're not trying to go for graphics I think we should lower it down to like version 4 or 3 I think we'll we'll lower it to a version 3 I think that would probably be best. I feel like people are going to be upset maybe, but I think gameplay is going to be overall more important. Okay. So, we need mod support. Save game, save the cloud, right? Simple cutscenes. The branching story. Character progression and skill trees and a better user experience and a tutorial. So, gameplay is all the way up. Stories and quests are all the way up too. And the engine needs to go up. Like that. No game tutorial. How about that? Okay. I think that'll do. Okay. That should be fine. Let's have Let's work on the stories and quests. Vital work on the engine. Darlene work on Let's have Ru Roberta work on gameplay. We need to market this. Easter eggs aren't that important. Dynamic environment isn't important. Mini games are fun. Simple body language. We don't need AI companions, but we do need better AI. Or at least decent AI.
Voiceover isn't needed. Can make level design pretty high. Artificial intelligence low. What happens if we did dynamic? Could we do it? Yes, okay. Let's do it. Soundtrack. Virtual economy and a rich backstory. These are all very, very, very important. World design. Graphics can go down. Like that. No. Oh yeah, there we go. Out there. Actually, stereo, we don't even need a large amount of sound, honestly. We can do, we can do. S I think I can- I can up this. Just a little bit. No. I cannot have soundtrack. Stereoscopic 3D. No, can't have it. Oh shoot, hold on. Let's have Darlene work on that, and Arthur B. Uh, let's have them work on that. Here we go. We didn't even reach a hundred hype. Why? No, it released with the bug. No. Of course it released with one bug. Ah, uh, that's gonna fucking suck. God damn it, it released with a bug. God damn it.
That fucking sucks. Tutorial, your MMO is on sale now. MMOs work slightly different than normal games. These MMOs not only generate income, but also cause maintenance costs. Um... As we need to run the uh, game servers and provide customer services, you will need uh, the amount of maintenance paid and sales cards. Like other uh, uh, games, which have a limited sales duration, MMOs sell indefinitely. You will have to decide yourself when you want to take an MMO off the market. To take an MMO off the market, simply click on the sales card bring up a menu since mmos are so expensive to create you might want to try to expand your current mmo rather than create a new one um to do so to do this you will need to create an expansion pack which you can start to research now okay cool well i want to do that You made it in the top 106. Uh, okay, cool. Research uh, expansion packs. Cool. Also generate a report. We did it. We made a successful game. Since the market is normalized. Although apparently we've only we're only ranked nine. That's sad that's sad. Sad and depressing. So we can actually develop an expansion pass, which is cool. An expansion. So we can make an expansion pass, which is neat. Or expansion pack, sorry. Um, so while we're at it, we're going to develop a sequel. Wait. Where is it? We're gonna develop a sequel. Or wait, wait, what what genres do we have? Develop a actually let's research. Interactive story. Moral choices, I guess. Learn moral choices. Okay, cool. Um, what genres do we have? We have a lot of different genres. Um, military, cooking, crime, evolution, school. All these genres suck. A hunting game. Maybe we could make a hunting game. Or a horror game. Let's make a horror, a medium sized uh, horror game. Um, and name it the Spooky Mookie. Spooky Mookie. And it's gonna be a, uh, an adventure. A horror adventure game. A horror action adventure game. For the PlayStation... No, wait. Oh, sorry. The PC, the PlayStation, and the... Uh, oh, yeah, wait. PC, the PlaySystem... And the, not that one, 
inbox next for with the funny engine. It's gonna be mature, spooky game with highest level graphics, 3D graphics. All right, uh, save game, no multiplayer, basic physics, save the cloud, mod support, no mod support, uh, character progression, character trees. We don't need those. Uh, achievements, game tutorial. Yeah, I guess we could use a game tutorial. Achievements, advanced cutscenes. a linear story perfect okay cool I think this is fine gameplay do we need that much gameplay I guess we do okay character progression skill trees okay Hi, Christopher. Got word that you're working on a new game. Sure. So curious. Um, more on artificial intelligence. Disagree with that point of view. Wow, they don't like AI. Better dialogues. We don't need a dialogue tree. Um, voiceover, of course. No mini games or deny uh, dynamic environment. Level editor is good, and better AI. Artificial intelligence is is really important for a horror game. Uh, apparently, not as important as you think. Sign. Why is the... Oh my god. You know what? We don't need fucking better dialogue. Fuck off. Apparently simple body language. Fuck off. We don't need that either. Ain't this good. Level design is important, but I think AI is really good, and then dialogue can go down. Fuck off. Okay. Wow, maintenance has actually gone up. Uh, 3D graphics, stereo sound, we'll do surround sound, and it's not any of these actually. Realistic thing is fine. Graphics is going to be very important. World design can go as down as possible. Okay, cool. World design can go there. Let's have that. Sound can go down. Wow, I guess we're just not good enough to be able to do stereoscopic, okay. The fuck? Okay. Once we finish development of this game, we're gonna make an expansion pack for a sequel fantasy. 
online. There was one bug, but I guess it wasn't a major issue so far. Okay. Nothing exciting. Good management, thanks. Just a medium game, spooky mookie. Cooperative playing, orchestral soundtrack. Apparently my crew doesn't even know how to even do that kind of stuff anyways. Okay, so we need to, okay. It's a three. Uninspiring. Great. What a waste of time that was. No. Alright, um, what was it? What was the issue about our game? So everything was fine, we just didn't make it right, I guess. Alright, we're gonna develop an expansion pack for Sequel Fantasy. It's gonna be... S... Uh, SFO... Solar Eclipse. The PC with the funny engine is gonna be fine. It's an adventure. Uh, 3D graphics version 3. We're gonna up it the 3D graphics version 4. And uh, we're gonna leave, mm, I think, a lot of that. We want to have more stories and quests if possible. Wait, hold on. Linear story, no. Hold on. Advanced cutscene, skip the simple. What's going on here? Achievements aren't really needed. Better user experience in a tutorial? <laughs> Since when? Stories and quests engine. Engine can go down. Is that better? There. Okay. That works. Awesome. Okay. Wait. There we go. Save the cloud. Mod support. Video playback? No. It's already so delicate in particular. Wow, that's great! We're losing fans! Okay. 
No issues. Okay. We're Gucci, we're Gucci. Okay, that's fine. Better dialogue, voiceover. Voiceover? Do simple body language. Mini games. Okay. Yay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. No. Let me market this. market so 10 million copies without the help of a publisher nice working. Perfect. Yeah! We did it. Okay. Online play. People need a fucking break. Okay and people on vacation. Uninspiring? No. Not bad, not good. Could have been better. Oh no. There we go. It's going back up now. Recent expansion pack to their game. Moderate responses. Okay. Generate a report on why it was a five. We sold an underwhelming engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Focus our entire team on the development of a game. Okay. <laughs> true. True, true. Maybe we should make an expansion of an expansion. Of an MMO. Uh, we need to research online play and research 
uh, cooperative play. It's actually starting to cost us more money to maintain it, which to me means that we need to update it. Cool, okay. Um, funny too. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a drink. Grumpy. Huh? What a mess. Oh god, okay. Our game is doing not good. It's costing us more money to maintain. Develop an expansion pack for Sequel Fantasy Online. SFO. Um. Tribal Escape. I don't know. I think 3D graphics version 4. Let's just do version 3 again. It will save money. play so engine needs to go up I guess engine doesn't seem to be important like they said so engine can actually go down gameplay can go up Oh yeah, we don't need cooperative play. That's not as important. Let's try this and see what happens. I think I'm overthinking it about like the save game and stuff like that. It's an MMO, so it should have all that stuff on there. 
I guess save the cloud. I don't... Advanced cutscenes. A branching story? No, no, no. Moral choices. I think that'll help. Um... Darlene, work on that. Britter's working on the gameplay. Let's let's switch it up. So Rose is doing that. Okay. Hype it. Hype it. Tribal Escape is going to be a massive... A massive importance to the gameplay. Dynamic environment isn't needed. So we can lower... We can lower the AI which isn't necessarily needed. Focus it on that. Have Arthur. Let's have somebody work on dialogue. And Roberto, yeah, have that. Darlene, no, have that. That. So it's either Andrew or Juanita. We'll do, we'll do Andrew for level design. What if I did this? That's a little bit better. Okay. Nice. Let's have, um, Rose is working on world design let's have let's do this yeah cool oh my god we hit a thousand market A large campaign here we go this is it God damn it, release with the bug. <sighs> Please be tens. Yes. No.
That's still good. That's still really good for us. CMM has recently released an expansion pack to their game, uh, game sequel, uh, Sequel Fantasy Online. The expansion pack titled SFO Tribal Escape was met with outstanding responses. Awesome. That's really good. I'm going to go ahead and let you do that. And go ahead and research. Yes, body language. Interactive story. Yes! We're actually making a profit now. Thank God. Dear Fido, we are a Worldwide Game Developers Guild. We'd like to invite you to a special award ceremony for uh, at our meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint, the game will end at the end of this year. Oh, okay, cool. Did we win? Did we beat the game? Let's do a, uh, a medium-sized booth. Well then, um, I guess we will develop one last game. We're going to develop a large, mature game. We're actually going to develop a sequel to Nuclear Winter 4, which had a moderate response. This time, it will be perfect. The PlayStation 5 inbox. It's going to be... Nuclear Winter five, uh, 5 on the funny 2. This is it. Actually, uh, before we do that, let's see if we can develop... What do we have for the engine that we don't have? An interactive story. That's about it. Okay. Game engine... 20. <sighs> nice. Boss, our research uh, into AAA games is complete. We can now begin to create AAA games. A AAA game requires well-trained staff. Best to have stash lists of different areas to make sure the team does their best work. Okay. do um a sequel to nuclear winter 4 it's gonna be a triple a game nuclear winter 5 mature for the pc the playstation 5 and the xbox one s whatever the fuck they call it on the game engine number 20 triple a game Nuclear Winter 5 with 
Version 5 graphics, the highest level possible graphics. Mar marketing campaign. Uh, I think it's time to take off, um... You'll no longer get any income from it. Well, I'm not making money from it, I'm just losing money from it. No. Fuck it, whatever. Alright, uh, it's gonna have interactive story, moral choices, a branching story. Okay, I guess interactive story. Uh, with simple cutscenes. It's gonna have save games, uh, save the cloud mod support, and uh, basic physics. With uh, skill trees, character progression, game tutorial, achievements. Oh, they're gonna let me do all that. Okay, cool. That's fine. That's it. I'm taking it off the market. Just got word that CMO is retiring the MMO game Sequel Fantasy Online from the market. Uh, was on the market for 42 months and racked up over 22 million in sales. Sequel Fantasy was likely not profitable anymore as maintenance costs were likely larger than the income. Fans of Sequel Fantasy voice complaints. Uh, with one fan saying, I love CMM and played Sequel Fantasy a lot, but now they took it off the market. I don't know what MMO I should play. If only CMM had released a new MMO, I wouldn't be so upset. Okay. Well, sorry to tell you this, but I, I'm i making Nuclear Winter 5, which is my first and only AAA game before the end of this year. Uh, hopefully before the end of this year. It looks like it's about to be skilled up. Has awarded Fido CEO Lifetime Achievement Award contributions to the game industry. Fido has, uh, during a stunning 35 career, made many groundbreaking games. The company is most recently known for a sequel fantasy online. Congratulations, you have fi finished Game Tev Tycoon. We will now uh, calculate your final score and show you some st uh, statistics. You may continue playing after that. Least prof so profitable was SFO <laughs> Solar Cut. Most used topic was fantasy. Most used uh, genre was RPG. Total research uh, completed. Sign points. Technology points. Small games, 8. Medium games, 17. Large games, 11. AAA games. So while I was making one, good games. 13. Top hits, 9. Publishers used, 5. Self-published games, 31. Bestseller, Sequel Fantasy Online. Fans, almost 500k. A million. Some consoles, 0. Finish the game. We did it. We finished the game. Congratulations on fin finishing Game Dev Tycoon, and thank you for playing. If you enjoyed our little game, then consider telling your friends about it. Wish uh, you can continue playing, but please note that there will be no more platform releases other than sto uh, in or other story elements. Okay. Let's release one last game before we send off the team, I guess. Uh, voiceover, dialogue tree, better dialogue, simple body language. Uh, mini games, dynamic environment is always important. Um, AI companions, it's always important. 
Artificial intelligence go up. Artificial intelligence go burr. As well as level design go burr. I guess now it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, wait, they're not even developing anything. Hey, yeah, you can keep playing this game if you'd like. Uh, you got like all that shit. It's pretty neat. I don't know. There's like a still some game here that you can do. Uh, after the fact, um, like there's there's the apparently you can make your own console and sell your own console. And that has its own like whole deal and whatnot. Let's do a marketing, one of those marketing things. Surround sound is always important. Realistic weather is very important. Seems we can just do whatever the fuck we want. Um, Andrew has a lot on on his hands. Graphics, sound is always important. World design. Let's do it kind of like this. Kind of like that. Uh, sound can actually go down and we can do a little bit of world design, but kind of like that. We will do a medium booth. Uh, working on a new game, share some stuff. Yep, agree. Hype the game. Type it. Make people make people so excited. Nice, 1.5 million. Maybe in another lifetime, uh, our team here makes Sequel Fantasy 2, uh, Online 2. The uh, evolution of Sequel Fantasy Online. And instead of two expansions, it, it'll have five. This is going to be the first AAA game ever created of all time, forever. No. Cool. Oh no. Gotta iron out, iron out those bugs. Perfect. No loading screens into dynamic world. 3D graphics version 6. Okay. Come on. 
Falls a bit short. No. Could have been better. It's just like a real triple-A game. There's microtransactions. Uh... Okay, wait. I can research a bunch of stuff, actually. No, no, no. Uh, you generate a game support. Hopefully this makes us some money. Cool. Nice. Nice. Artificial intelligence is important. Okay. Try to focus our entire team on the development, which I thought I did. Self-publishing self AAA games will be will be most efficient when we have at least one million fans. Publishing deals can give us great exposure and help us reach more players. Okay. Well. I think the game still has made... Okay, it hasn't made that much just yet, but we're getting there. Um, okay. Wait, we still have- we can research something. Ver- var- visor- visorious support. Whatever the fuck that means. Alright. I wanna have like one last good successful game. Custom, uh, custom engine, develop a sequel. What can we add to the engine? Zorius support. No loading screens. Dynamic world. Orchestral soundtrack. I'm gonna name it. Find me for... People don't like Nuclear Winner 5. I worked hard on Nuclear Winner 5. I guess now we know it's it was a commercial flop. But sequel fantasy, I guess, technically made us money.
Wasn't there a, um... V5 graphics? I thought there was, like, 3D graphics version 5. Or did I miss that? I probably already grabbed it. So now I think it's actually, it's almost been a profit. It's almost been profitable. Let's see here. It's almost been profitable. Okay. Research, I guess, yeah. Full motion video. Sure. Of course, everybody needs vacation. Research new topics, like racing. Nice. So, in the end, it was a 1.3 negative whatever uh research new topics medieval research a new topic airplane okay Let's create a new sequel. Wait, can I not develop a sequel to, uh... I guess I can't. I can't develop a sequel to, um... To, uh final whatever you call it i can't make a sequel to final to a uh, final sequel fucking i'm having a stroke here i can't make a sequel to sequel fantasy i don't know why it just doesn't exist on there so i guess i'm developing a new game called poo poo pee pee farts it's a large game. MMO. It's a large MMO post apocalyptic uh, RPG game for the PC on the Funny Four. And it's going to be a mature game. It's a large... It's a triple-A game. No. It's a large game. I won't be able to afford it. It's going to be on graphics version... Three. It's going to be on graphics version... Version 4. 3. 5. It's gonna be on graphics version... 3D graphics version 5. Cause fuck it. There's gonna be... It's gonna be a skill trees, character progression, that... Better user experience in that. Gameplay is going up, baby. No. No tutorial. 
no cooperative play. The engine is gonna have online play. No. Gonna have a up engine. Uh, stories is gonna have an interactive story and advanced, no, simple cutscenes. This is gonna have, no, uh, online play, cloud support, save, okay. Suddenly that became an issue. Does it not already have online play because it's an MMO? Why would I need to do online play? There. We know that engine isn't that important. story and quests they agree cool um no voiceover dialogue tree we don't need that better dialogues uh, we're gonna use simple or advanced body language with no loading screens we don't need that better AI you know what dynamic environment sure AI isn't that important compared to other stuff Juanita can work on that Arthur B can work on level design you can work on that fine uh, level design Artificial intelligence. Oh, yeah, we don't need uh, AI companions. Level design does need to be go uh, need to go up. Dialogue can go down because we don't need it as much. I mean, I do like dialogue, but yeah. Level design for that MMO game. MMO better make me a fuck ton of money. Stereoscopic, we don't need it. Surround sound, nah. Stereo sound, wait. Yeah, stereo sound. Definitely a dynamic world. Uh, world design. Up, 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 up. Graphics, down, down, down. Sound, down. Don't need a soundtrack. World design needs a lot. Even at max, it's still not worth. Realistic weather. We don't need realistic weather. I think that's the issue. Apparently, okay, dynamic world, rich backstory, day and night cycle. Uh, virtual economy is very important. I guess I could lower. I can't go any lower. I guess a uh, dynamic world is going to have to get removed and keep day and night cycle. Sorry, dynamic world. I could try to do that. No, that still wouldn't even be enough. Okay. Sound isn't that important. 
I guess. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Fido needs to do something. Uh, Fido. Do Andrew's job. There you go. And we need to do that. There we go. Okay. We're using the team. Everyone has a part. Medium booth. No, small booth. Poo-poo pee-pee farts. Celebrity voice acting. <laughs> poo poo pee pee farts is a success. Make me money, baby. Alright, I think that'll- we'll stop here. For this game. Poo poo pee pee farts, uh, did it. Good job, poo poo pee pee farts. I'm proud of you. Everybody loves poo poo pee pee farts. to develop an expansion pack for poo poo pee pee farts no 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 no, no. We're, we're not getting in this cycle okay poo poo pee pee farts was successful people love poo poo pee pee farts okay <laughs> <sighs> all right well that was that that was that poo poo pee pee Farts. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. That was fun. Um. I think it was. It is worth it. It's a lot of fun. And wacky and goofy to just make weird. Like you can technically make any game. I think. An exceptional score for an exceptional game. Minecraft 2. <laughs> Half-Life 3. <laughs> it's a fun game. I don't know if it, if it is it timeless. I'd say so. I think it's 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 worth it's still worth the money. I need to know like kind of like what other things have they they haven't made a new game. This is their only game they've made. 
which is kind of I don't know how to feel about that but hey it's good good job team uh, Gr Greenheart games good job you still make a wonderful compelling game and I think even to this day they still up update it whenever new consoles kind of release like new major consoles because as you can see there the PlayStation 5 became a whole console in this game I remember the game looking different by the end of of the you know by the end of it but maybe I'm wrong let me let me check Google let, let me watch sips sips play it sips game dev tycoon let's check his his finale for the original series because I remember very specifically the game looking a lot different nope go back hi everybody welcome back to I see how everybody's doing uh, it looks like there's some hard training no I guess this is the end but what were the consoles Yet another romantic holiday. World of Wizardry. Or Wizardy. World of Wizardy. Well. The game looks pretty similar to what it is now, actually. I think the only difference is, is that um is that the consoles that they have out are different. Yeah, shut up. Come on, Sips. Uh, what are we missing from the last engine? A whole bunch of shit after. Get it for create. So let's one. What a good ever end us here to say. At two or two by two. Okay, point two million in sales. Nice. Expansion. The Amigas have linked themselves into a boutique fully refreshed, and we should be ready to go. Fun. Uh, million expansion. It would be nice. Uh, everyone, it's gonna be a large game. We still can't. It's of course an MMO. <laughs> Make it. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's about a uh, a, a rich king. Wait, it's a 2D graphics? He does it in 2D graphics? Okay. Wait. Wait, what? Multiplayer, we can't add because we have online. Oh wow! I didn't realize it, but. In gameplay, I guess they changed this, but in gameplay, you used to have to specifically tell, like, what, like, with, like, what gamepads you can use. Unless that was a research and development thing. Yeah, you, you'd have to tell them, hey, so um, you could research into using a mouse and a joystick and a gamepad and stuff. I didn't realize that was, okay, so that was a thing. I was... I completely forgot about that part. Yeah, that, that's a feature. <laughs> and using a mouse. <laughs> I would like to know, like, what game consoles were available at this point. But I don't, I don't know. And his um. Hi everybody, welcome back. Oh, it's Sips. There he is. Hell in a box. Ah, th wait. Three D graphics version seven. That's a vi apparently a thing. Wow, this game definitely gets different. Um. That's cool. So there's there's a lot more you can do in the after um the after game kind of thing. Huh. Okay. Well, there you go. I didn't necessarily play the game to its strengths, or at least the end game stuff, but Well That's cool though. That's really epic. Really, really epic. Wow. So cool. So epic. Um, I guess. Okay. 
well, let's just, I'm thinking we just stop here for today. And, um, I think tomorrow, we're definitely gonna have a stream on Sunday, but tomorrow I might do a secret stream. We never end up ma ended up making Sequel Fantasy 7. We made Sequel Fantasy 6, but not Sequel Fantasy... I guess Sequel Fantasy 7 ended up being Sequel Fantasy Online. So, sad. Sad. But I might do some... Uh, I might do some Diablo 2 uh, tomorrow if I feel like it. If I feel like streaming, uh, I, I've been off on Diablo 2. I really should be playing it. Really should be playing it. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Anyways, uh,. I've only been streaming for almost three hours. I wasn't expecting the game to end this early. I was not expecting the game to end this early. I probably should have made the stream go longer and just finished the game all in one stream. But, eh. I think overall, I'm 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 satisfied with my experience with Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, it is worth the ten dollars. Um, there's definitely ten hours worth of gameplay here. I only did seven point three hours, but if you did the forty six years or forty two years or something, I forget how much it is at the beginning of the game, then you'd easily hit ten hours uh, from that. Um, yeah, you definitely hit 10 hours from that. That would cause the game to last even longer. Uh, the the extra little bits that you can have at the beginning of your game uh, benefit a lot. I think that's... It, it's it's like, it'll add to the game, definitely. So, um, I... Yeah, I highly recommend Game Dev Tycoon. I've wanted to play it since 2013, and I finally got to play it through. And uh, I enjoyed it. Um, very happy. I was actually able to finish a game on stream for once. So I'm proud. And I ended on my terms. I ended on releasing a successful uh, MMO called Poo Poo Pee Pee Farts. Uh, so I guess if you dream big, you can you can make anything successful. Imagine, imagine a game called Poo Poo Pee Pee Farts at the, like, <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I think it's kind of, kind of, <laughs> just, I just, imagine a game called Poo Poo Pee Pee Farts mm -hmm. existing in real life and it's an MMO game, a successful MMO game. I wish they gave you the option to do MMOs earlier on in the game like way earlier on because i feel like um because you, there was mmos that existed in the early 2000s you know world of warcraft everquest everquest 2 um world world of <laughs> wizards uh wizards 101 there's also a workshop mode for there's a workshop for um For Game Dev Tycoon, which adds consoles missing from the base game Atari consoles, the 3DS, Game Boy Advance, Virtual Boy, uh, the Sony Genesis uh, add-ons, 3DO, CD, the Commodore 32, or something, and the N-Gage. Sony Genesis. <laughs> the Sega Genesis. What is this? This is a cheat mode. Poly Station. 
ultimate mod editor for the game dev tycoon generated expansion module there's actually not a lot of of workshop mods for this there should be more i encourage people to add more mods to um the workshop but i guess that just means that the game's good There's only one thing I think they should um, there should be a mod of is early MMO development. Just remove MMO development from like R and D and make it like an option to do early on in the lifespan. Probably like around when probably around when PCs were already like just starting like uh, early on and then just have it like a research thing so like you can research to have it developed and then you can develop an mmo game and also i feel like the sales to the sales to like upkeep pricing for servers should be i think the upkeep price should be nerfed um i don't think it should it should it shouldn't exponentially grow that fast. I would assume. I, I don't think it would be that expensive. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think so because that would mean that the game, a game could release, a game could release, and like in one year, it's already losing, like it, it's a, f a, fantastic, MMO game, and in one year, it's somehow already, like. <laughs> losing you're you're spending more money to upkeep the servers than you are making money i don't know because i mean literally world of warcraft they don't even need to make expansions all the fucking time in in this game they make it feel like you have to have an expansion like every like five minutes you need to release an expansion to the game. I think that should be that should be fixed somehow if possible. I, I want to open up this. Okay, there we go. But other than that, um but yeah, I've just been sitting here debating on if I want to do a run of Binding of Isaac or play a little bit of Diablo. If I do Diablo, the problem is that um, I'm going to end up <laughs> playing Diablo and then the stream's going to be like seven hours long. <laughs> so do I want to do a seven hour long stream? I've already done about three hours here. Hold on, wait, we're about to hit three hours. Do I do it? Do I dare waste the rest of my night playing Diablo? I feel like I should just do that on Tuesday, just tomorrow. Or t I see. I keep saying Tuesday. I'm at Thursday. I guess I'll do. I'll do a sh maybe do a stream on Thursday, and it might just be a, a time. Just no matter. Just any point in time just a random stream that could happen at like the afternoon like as soon as i wake up just random secret diablo stream where i just play diablo all day just an all-day diablo stream diablo 2 stream uh fucking 20 hour diablo 2 stream <laughs> see what happens Actually, I want to see if we can even hit 10 hours. That would be an achievement right there. 10 hour stream. So maybe at 3 o'clock, I'll do... I'll do a stream at 3. Maybe. I'll put it on here. Maybe secret stream 
3 p.m. CDT. Maybe. If I even change it to Diablo. Diablo 2. I don't have the expansion. I should get the expansion. But obviously I can't now. I'm, I'm too far into the story for me to even bother to get the expansion yet. So I'll wait until after I beat the game to buy the expansion if I feel like it's worth it. Which it, pro it most definitely probably is. Um, just because there's just a massive amount of content to add. And I've read on the wiki that it's a must buy. So anyways. Uh, okay. We will stop here. Um, have a good morning but oh yeah anyways remember there is a stream definitely on sunday remember that definitely a stream on sunday random secret streams in between um i will need to upload the stream i did yes not yesterday but the day before on monday i think I did a secret stream of me playing Diablo 2, and I might as well upload that to the channel, to the VOD channel, because it is a large stream, and I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't upload it. As well as this one, I guess. Although I feel like I didn't have as much energy on this stream. I didn't have that much energy. But I kind of blame the gameplay on that one maybe kind of why well, I, I, in myself i guess uh, but yeah secret diablo stream okay all right have a good morning good day good afternoon good night i love you see you in the next one